Hello, this is Megan, the Information Services Librarian at Sargent Memorial Library, and I am here to show you how to make the Adult Craft Night Craft these glass bead magnets. It's pretty good for all ages, so you could do this with your kids if you want. Um, this is the kit that was used that was purchased on Amazon. It comes with the glass beads that are flat, more flat on the bottom um and the magnets but you can also use something like aquarium stones that you can get at the dollar tree or anything they're just not at, these are just consistently the same size um, so it depends on how you want to do it one thing to be aware of is when working with the magnets i would separate them as much as you can because they will grab onto each other and they don't care if you put the glue on already but it will like kind of just jump to each other so I always put the magnets away. These are the pieces. So this is the little flat rock stone and then the magnet. And so usually just put your magnet over there and now you have this stone. Um, I like to use magazines, but you can try to use photos or anything. We're gonna go with this picture of Taylor Swift because um, she fits into there perfectly and she just had her new album come out. Now I just take a pencil and just go around what I'm gonna do. And then you're gonna wanna cut that out. I kind of, I'll cut it out with scissors and then um, you can choose to do the X-Acto knife before you Mod Podge it on or you can do it afterwards because sometimes there's a little bit of edges. So you just want to cut it out. Um, I just kind of cut out a square and then I have this piece that I can cut out more fully. So now you have your little circle and you can put it on here. So if you see here, there's already some edges, but I'm gonna put them adhesive on and then I'm gonna go around it again. We are going to be using some Mod Podge. This is the regular matte kind and then I also have um, some Sparkle Mod Podge which I really liked how it looked. Um, obviously this is optional but I mean it's really fun and this makes the Jaws shark look much less intimidating. You have a little brush, foam brush, which you can get different sizes of this, but you're going to put the Mod Podge on the back. You really don't need that much because it's going to squish out once you apply it anyway, and it dries clear, as you could see from the magnets that I had already made. So I put on that, and then I use my brush to put on the sparkles. I just use the regular Mod Podge as well as the sparkle. So then now you have, and you may get Mod Podge on the top, but it is very easy, you can just scrape it off. So then I press it down and I can already see the sparkles, I mean, Taylor Swift needed sparkles. We're gonna take our X-Acto knife um, and just kind of go around the edges. As you can see, I have trimmed around the edges as best as I can and it is already drying in there because I, I didn't put too much Mod Podge. If you put a lot, it may be cloudy for a little while, but it does dry up because I did that on one and it actually came out really good. You have one and you will be adding the magnet on. This is the glue so you really don't need that much and I put it on the back of this magnet. I mean not magnet the you know oh and I probably just did too much but you just put the magnet on. It doesn't matter which way it goes because it has been tested and it goes on a refrigerator anyway. And so now you have this, it takes a little bit to dry, but it, not that long. But now if you're gonna go on to your next one, separate this one away so that the magnet does not rip off. But there is the mostly finished product. 
And uh, yeah, I hope that you try this out and have fun.